Hi everybody, it's Grace from Grace Meyer Yoga. Welcome to the little studio this afternoon. I was going to do a restorative class and I sat down to sort of plan that out and I started realizing, wait, not everyone has their own little studio at home with their dedicated space and all of their like props like at hand. So what can we do with stuff that we have at home to actually create props that will work, especially in a restorative context? So here we go. Four blocks. What, uh, not four blocks, these are two blocks, but in order to make blocks, I would suggest grabbing some of those Lonely Planet travel books that maybe you can't use right now because you're sheltering in place. Grab a couple of them, put them together with some really solid rubber bands. Or if you are a yoga geek like me and you actually have two copies of Mr. Iyengar's Light on Yoga, those also can be put together and then you can make different size blocks. So books, blocks. Now the only thing I wouldn't recommend with these book blocks is you can't really put them up on this side, but if you make them thick enough, use those travel books effectively. They are going to be just as sturdy as your regular blocks. All right, what about a yoga strap? These yoga straps that you use in the studio, they've got these nice little D-rings, they're adjustable, they're usually really long. So what can you use at home? Uh, I've heard people suggest using towels uh, or like an old t-shirt or something, but something that doesn't have much stretch. However, I think this might actually be really useful to grab a couple of belts. Uh, one can be just a sort of a regular old belt that only has a certain number of holes on one end. The other one, see if you have one that has like a bunch of different holes all the way down, or in this case, this one is sort of like a woven leather that I can poke the blade of the buckle through at any point, uh, or use a, a belt that is old and you aren't gonna use it anymore for a belt. So it won't look strange if you poke new holes in it. Anyway, so I've got the end that I've got secured already in behind me, and say you needed a belt for like a Baddha Konasana, cobbler's pose. You can just create the length you need. That's not quite long enough. So I'm going to widen that out just a little bit and turn this around. And there we go. Yoga strap made out of belts. Who knew? All right. I'm going to release myself from my yoga belt strap. Uh, next is blankets. Now, blankets aren't necessarily that hard to come by at home, but I would definitely suggest uh, using something that maybe has some nice weight to it, something that's not too cushy, because yoga blankets are really good for support, even though they're sort of soft on the surface. So to show you, I grabbed this blanket, which is a wool blanket. It's kind of thick. Uh, if you're not allergic to wool, or that's not going to bother you. Uh, and then you can fold it up sort of akin to a yoga blanket and definitely make sure you have, if you have fringe on it, that you have that nice uh, folded edge that you can use if you need to while you're doing restorative. All right, so blankets, relatively simple. Now here was the one that seemed kind of tough to me. Yoga bolster. What is it that I can use at home that's gonna be similar enough to a yoga bolster? Because most pillows are, uh, a little too squishy and a yoga bolster is very sturdy and meant to support you. So here's what I came up with. I went to the linen closet and grabbed a stack of towels. I basically took them all and folded them in thirds, one, two, three layers, and then I folded that towel in thirds in half and stuck them all together with the nice folded edge here, and then there's folded edges on the long side, and then you only have one rough edge. So all of my towels are not exactly the same. So what we're gonna do to make that even more, a little bit like a bolster, is grab a pillowcase, and I'm gonna insert the nice uh, folded edge into the pillowcase. Let's see how quickly I can do this. This is one of the uh, more advanced skills in yoga prop making at home. Now, you may 
need to or want to when you get this all the way into the pillowcase or as far as you're gonna go. You may wanna figure out some way to kind of tuck that in. You, in fact, you could just kind of tuck it into the side of the um, towels there. And there you are. You have a yoga bolster made of towels. All right, I hope that's helpful to you all and please be on the lookout for that restorative uh, class that I'm gonna teach. And I will look forward to meeting you again here. Thanks so much.